Hello and welcome back to Stalker. Escape from Pripyat. How y'all doing? I'm gonna buy a little bit of food. This is a fresh recording session, so don't mind me. Just getting, uh, get kind of getting started. Bloodsucker goulash. Mmm, sounds good. Uh, fat bacon is of course pretty good. 380 cal, 290, 310. To Yuma. Um, dog chop sounds pretty good. I'm just looking for the best bang for my buck. Uh, I think it's going to be the dog chops. Some of these are longer seconds, though. Bloodsucker sounds pretty good. 2400 seconds. It's kind of hard to... Um, like suss out how how helpful a food is it's a little bit difficult but i'm gonna i'm gonna buy a couple of these i don't tend to buy food i tend to make it as you all know um but this is the, these are extraordinary circumstances that being i don't wanna i don't feel like it so we have a bit of good news um or i have a bit of good news since i oh god Why? Why are we starting like this? <laughs> um, <laughs> on one of the bodies of the bandits that attacked in the last session, I'm just worried there's another one. Oh, we've got a suit utility upgrade kit. It's actually some really decent stuff on here. Um, yeah, on one of the bodies of the previous bandits, or the bandits at the end of the last episode, they had a magazine for my pistol. So, isn't that nice? Just kind of, just kind of turned up, you know? So, we have an extra magazine, um, we're still gonna have to do a little bit of fiddling. But, you know, it's better than where we were, where I had to reload my magazine after every single, like... I don't know, set of bullets. And as you can see, um, you know, this gun is useful. So, I could stand to have some more buckshot. We have a little bit. We have 15 shots with the, um, with the shotgun. We have how much? We got a little bit of ammo for the, uh, for the ADAR. About a magazine and a half. These are all good things. Um, you know, I, I feel, honestly speaking, a little bit underprepared. But we're going to go to um, Rostock. I'm going to Rostock. There's a very good chance I'm going to, like, give up on this, as I tend to do um, when things get a little bit spicy. But um, I want to try uh, attempt the next story mission. These story missions have been, so far, pretty okay, with the exception of maybe the underground. The underground, oh, that's right, that, uh, that stash over there had an anomaly on it, which is why I didn't grab it in the first place. That may not be true anymore, so I'll have a quick look. Might be better to grab it on the way back. But yeah, I, I'm pretty, I feel, oh god. That was almost awful. Um, I feel pretty okay. I, I wish I had more bullets. Is really my only major complaint. Okay, where is our stash? It is north of here. Hopefully there aren't... Just like a ton of mutants over here. Looks like there are none. That is an anomaly still on that stash. Okay, we can't grab it. Sucks. There's a lot of anomalies around here right now. Hey, anyway, well, we're heading north. Um, I've never been this far north. 
at least not in this iteration of stalker honestly i don't think i've been this far north in any iteration i'm thinking about it now but uh even in stallcraft and i made it pretty far in stallcraft um but i don't think i made it to the bar yeah we're going to rostock i don't know if i can go to the bar um i'm pretty sure there's a guy who stops you from going um and you have to like i don't know gain some more reputation with a certain faction in order to gain entrance but um I, I'm not sure if I can actually go to the bar, which is unfortunate because, you know, I, I as I recall, it's another fairly important uh, settlement. But, um, it, you know, all of that being said, we'll, we'll probably still go and do the mission. Um, I do want to work myself up to getting a portable workshop. It's going to be a, a very heavy, you know, or sizable purchase. Article unlocked. Yeah, this is our first time in Rostock. We're already hearing gunfire, which is not encouraging. This is to the garbage. Is this the road to Rostock? Deliver the package. Follow the trail. We have another mission here. Meet with man gun. This is my next destination. Okay, weird. I didn't know I had two missions there. I wonder if it's too bright for, um, night vision. Yes, it is. That's the problem with going, like, leaving at, uh, dawn, is it's just dark enough to be a problem. Really not encouraged right now by all of these, all those gunfire. Sounds of gunfire. Requesting backup, we're being attacked by a pseudo dog in Rostock. Is that it? Uh, their duty. So actually, that's fine. Nice. Like I say, you know, it's nice to have the pistol. If you're fighting something as simple as a pseudo dog, it's not really a big deal. You can, you can waste as much pistol ammo as you want and. You know, spin, since I spent the time, uh, crafting for about half an hour, <laughs> four or five ammo, um, I'm going to go ahead and waste it. I can't tell what we're firing at. This says to the garbage, which is where I came from. So this is, uh, this looks like a settlement. Not sure if they're going to be firing on me. I think duty is good. Like, duty tends to be friendly. At least to stalkers. They tend to be, uh, you know, as their namesake uh, implies about, you know, sort of keeping the zone safe. Unlike the military for some reason. Although, I don't know. That could very easily become a spicy topic. Is that pseudo dog alive? I don't think so. I think they'd be shooting at it if, if it was. Tons of pseudo dogs around here. Pseudo dogs are good for food. I could have saved my money on that mutant dude, but I'll make some nice money from all of this. Oh my god. So here's a dude from duty. He unfortunately had a bad time. Stop bringing broken shit to me. Someone in the comms complaining. Everything's broken, my dude, so... Honestly, there's no point in complaining. Unless you're killing military, you're, you're gonna be getting broken stuff. So let me see if this'll, this guy will let me through. What is it? Is there any work to be done? He wants flesh eyes. Have anything else? Never mind. Okay, so there's not really a checkpoint here. We're okay to enter. Hello, brother. I want to ask you something. I'm looking for work. Well, if the local traders don't have anything for you, maybe try the regular guys. Oh, I mean, okay. Um, do you know about anomalies or artifacts? Clear Sky must have had some serious voodoo shit back 
Going on back in uh, 2011, the way I hear it, space anomalies kept appearing to help them close in on the, this guy they were chasing. That weird or what? Oh, that weird or what? Okay. Uh, I was kind of hoping for something a bit more substantial. It sucks that it's raining right now. I love, I love the rain in this game. Don't get me wrong. It, it really lends to the atmosphere. But it also lends to me not seeing shit. <laughs> um, so this is bar. I can't tell where I like, what is this right now? What? What kind of facility am I in right now? What kind of operation are we running here? I'm hoping that this is a ch Oh, hello. Got anything to sell? No. What's, uh, are you a trader? Good to see you, stalker. Welcome to the arena. Arena, huh? Uh, what are the rules? The rules are pretty simple. I invented them for my uh, the, Invented them myself for the challenges. There's a cage. We let loose a mutant inside the cage You pay your fee and wage on the time limit um, you, Wage on the time limit you need to kill the monster if you make it you win if you don't I win for the main course bandits and other zones g Degenerates uh, captured by duty fight in the arena for for their crimes some of them are not actually criminals, just stalkers who fancy a fight. Either way, whoever leaves the arena in the least amount of pieces gets a sizable reward. If you keep on winning fights, then more stalkers will come to watch, and you, in turn, will get even greater rewards. Um, what challenge do you have for me? Huh. How do you get the mutants here? We made a deal with duty. Instead of killing all the mutants they find, they bring the weaker ones in here in exchange for cash. Duty gets paid, the mutants get killed, and then I get paid. Everybody wins. Very strange. I didn't know there was an arena. Very, very interesting. I don't know if I'll be wanting to do that myself right now. Seems to me my story, my next story mission is in here. Along with potentially a, uh, a, a, a trader. What kind of missions do you guys have? Sin faction. I don't know if I've even met anyone from Sin. I don't want to extinguish. I never want to extinguish. Is there any work you have? CMS. Have anything else? You want CMS. I don't even know what that is. I don't get that channel. I don't have cable. Pack of old meat. Okay, so how do I get in there? Is it is it just the door here? No, it won't let me in. Please don't tell me I have to go up these stairs and up and around. That's a little strange. No, there's a there's a door right here. How do I get in there? <laughs> That's where I need to go, and there's, like, no accessible point at all. I'm gonna have to do a pause here just to figure this out. There's a door... It's really hard to tell. You guys are getting in my way, straight up. There's a door right here, but none of the doors open. I'm sure someone is yelling at their monitor right now. Believe me when I say that these moments are just as frustrating for me as they are for you. As, as much as it's probably obvious where you need to go, um, sometimes it is not. Is this it? This seems like it. Okay. Another stalker here to visit old Magnum. Uh, man gun. All right. Show me what's broken. I'll fix it. Better, I hope that you can pay for the parts. I've come to see you. I need some help, bro. A dutier brought me in this rifle for repairs, but I missed it up pretty bad. 
I need to find a replacement for him before he comes to pick it up. He needs PMM. I didn't really mean to take that mission, but okay. If you come across the PMM, bring it to me. I don't have much money, but I have something I can trade you for it. So I have to find him a pay PMM. Any work you want done, you need basic tools. Yeah, you and everyone else. I have an encrypted PDA. It doesn't seem to respond. Can you make it make it out for me? Uh, here, 500 rubles. Is there any work you want done? Eliminate dangerous mutants. This is a special mutant. Oh, no. Well, I mean, I'll do it, but probably this is not a good idea. Can I use your vice? Is there any other work you want done? Target weapon, location garbage, road block side. Blockade, sorry. Friend of mine decided to start a rat hunt in his group. I won't go into details. Your task is to come to the meeting place and pick up the goods by force. Bring the product to me and I'll make good make uh, find a use for it. Uh, not not right now. Any work you want done? Is that it? Okay. Well, I guess this was one story mission. Yeah, find replacement P PMM. But there's plenty more to do here. Like I say, this is a um, pretty, pretty important uh, settlement. I believe this is Bar. I have to imagine that this is. I don't think in, there's any other settlement nearby. Um, we want to find that other. Okay, I think we go through here. 100 Rads Bar. This place is kind of confusing. I won't lie. Oh, this is the actual bar. Wow. So you okay. you sell some stuff? Hello, who are you? I'm a local informant and can offer you all kinds of services. At the moment, I have different types of information and maps with routes to various locations. My sources are some of the most re reliable in the zone, but they'll also kill to preserve their secrecy. So don't go asking where I learned this stuff. The answer isn't pretty. Any free info you can share about the surrounding area? Usually info is how I make a living, but since everything's quiet anyway, I can give you a bit of insight on the house. I'm all ears. Probably already familiar with everything south of here. Right now, you're in Rostock. It's completely safe if you're on good terms with duty. East is the truck cemetery, like the garage. Garbage, sorry, they're, but they're much bigger. Much more radioactive and much, much more dangerous. West is the wild territory. The parts of Rostock that duty can't patrol regularly. That place is an absolute nightmare. Most stalkers recommend avoiding it unless you need to get to Yantar. North are, are, are the army warehouses owned by duty's best friend, Freedom. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Freedom, uh, further north than that, quickly becomes monolith territory, defended by ruthless fanatics and brain-melting anomalous fields. What can you tell me about the monolith? Allegedly, they are the guardians of an ancient alien crystal known as the Wish Granter. Monoliths believe... This crystal created the zone, and it will grant wishes to those it finds worthy. To this end, they're fiercely they'll fiercely defend it from anyone who dares step further than the northern barrier at army warehouses. Of course, there are legends of people who being found worthy of the wish granter, but it's all bullshit. There are easier ways to get rich, and you'd think by now someone would, would have wish, uh, wished for the mutants here to disappear, or for an end to disease, or even wor uh, world peace. Ha. Huh. But I guess by the time you reach the wish granter, you don't you won't give a shit about anything else. Thanks for the info. Uh what do you do here for fun? This place can get boring fast, man. Customers nowadays barely seek anything interesting, just a bunch of amateurs who want to get their hands on artifacts and such. Do you know what I mean? That's just the way it goes, isn't it? Yeah, but don't any of them ever dream about uh, of doing something epic, something legendary like you, for instance. Mm -hmm. You seem experienced, don't you want to accomplish something that people will never forget? Go on. I have a very special contact who is offering a huge reward for taking down 10 stalkers. 50 grand, plus sweets. Sounds like great cash for a simple list of bounties, right? Here's the interesting part. Your targets just happen to be the top 10 stalkers in the entire zone. This means you could be hunting down regulars, uh, dutiers, mercs, or even the monolith themselves. You can see the list on your PDA if you want. This guy wants them dead, doesn't matter how. That's insane, why would anyone do that? I asked my contact something similar. He said he's tried a, tired of walking dreadnoughts, vacuum, vacuuming up all the loot with their fancy rifles and expensive suits. 
he wants to give the common man more of a chance anyways he's willing to pay is you know, the pay will be incredible so who cares count me in Fantastic. I will upload the location of your first target onto your PDA. Every time you kill one of them, you get the location of the next guy. Have fun. Master Cherniak. Um, I'd like to buy intel on a few routes. From the army warehouse to radar. Uh, well, maybe, maybe I'll get those later. Um, alright, so we still have some more story stuff to do. I don't know, is this the guy? Any work to be done? I'm pretty sure it's the guy behind him. Barkeep. Hey, Barkeep, I need information. I have reason to believe Strelak has stopped by here. Is he still around? Uh, here in the bar? No, you nearly missed him. He passed by yesterday. I told him that a lot of people were looking for him, but he did, was adamant that he couldn't stay to chat. He was with um, four other stalkers headed north. I reminded him that the Brian Scorcher is active again. Sorry, Brain Scorcher. Not Brian Scorcher. He didn't seem to mind. Bought up half the food in my kitchen. Off they went. I'd call him a fool if he didn't uh, hadn't already survived all those years in the most dangerous parts of the zone. You say he wasn't alone. He had a few companions with him. Tough, experienced stalkers from the looks of it. Not a bunch of greenhorns, for sure. But the reason I didn't really try to stop them, they all seemed to know what they were doing. So Strelak was last seen going past the barrier. I'm on a mission to find him, and it seems uh, it just got a mu uh, got that much harder. That's what you get when you try to pursue a legend. I bet he set his sights on the Chernobyl NPP again. Getting there would be quite an ordeal, especially with the brain scorcher in the way. I wouldn't go there without some sort of advanced psi protection. When you get that covered, have a talk with a gatekeeper. He's a walking slab of single-minded grit who helps defend the barrier. He might help you out later. Uh, it's very important, so I'll do my best. Thanks for the info. So I need Psy Block times two. Living Legend Call of the North. Mission failed. Living Legend Call of the North. Hmm. Can you lend me some money? Is there any work you want done? Uh, a stalker slipped some stash info that apparently leads to some rather interesting documents. I will give you the coordinates, and in exchange for delivering the papers, you'll be well paid. Sure. Dark Valley, not too bad. Receive new stash coordinates, I must take a look. Uh, any work you want done? Durnal Predator in Rostock, south of the road to the army warehouses. I'll do it. Thanks. Destroy the mutants. Uh, any work you want done? Mercenary. Kill the stalker. Location in the army warehouse west of the road to radar. I don't know if I want to do that. Um, any other work? No, that's it. So what do you sell? A little bit of everything. Uh, we got some 45. Wonder... I, I guess I have a health kit. I could probably stand to have another health kit. We have a couple ammunition guides, which I'm pretty sure I have copies of already. Um, I'll sell this stuff. Pseudo dog fangs, sure. You've got yourself a portable workshop. It's only 40,000. It's also 10 kilograms. I'm tempted to buy that now. Um, just because... Like, their, their inventory tends to refresh. And... If I don't buy it now and I come back later and he doesn't have it anymore, that would feel bad. Oh, we've also got some really interesting armor. Plus 17% ballistic resistance, which is green for some reason, which I, I... It's weird. Oh, it is better. That's interesting. I wonder if mine got worse. This is interceptor body armor. Got explosive resistance, rupture resistance, impact resistance... Electrical resistance. Then there's Nomad Stalker uh, suit. Some of these are better for other things, for some things than, you know, than others. I do want to get a better helmet at some point. This is good radiation protection, but I don't know if it's better than what I've got. It says it, it's green. Um, this thing is actually, its relevancy is starting to become... You know, significant. 
because we're looking at helmets that provide 76 percent radiation resistance i'm pretty sure uh my measly uh what is it 34 percent is not going to cut it we've got this metal um so i mean this is all good and all but uh it doesn't really get me to the next part i i guess what i need to do is just continue to do what i've been doing do some missions uh, accumulate some wealth and maybe I can buy some side blockers from someone. This is Russian tobacco. I wonder if he sells side blockers. Probably not. I may have some information to sell. I found a PDA might have something useful on it. 2300. Okay. Well, that's fine. All right. We'll just do a save. Any all have some work for me to do? Metal bottles, don't really care for that. Any work you want done, nothing. Freedom patch. Uh, that You're kind of nasty if you want freedom patches. Although I don't know if duty and freedom are friends. What do you got? You want snore cans. So there's a box here. So if I wanted to, I could make this a new bo uh, base of operations. Probably would be a good idea to consolidate everything. And if I was going to consolidate somewhere, it would probably be here. Although I'm not sure if um, this is a great place for selling. It's a good place for buying. But I'd like to have a place to sell um, some of these extra gun parts. Let's have a quick look to see if I can sell. Actually, does this guy sell anything? Uh, no, not really. Okay. So this guy is, uh, mostly a food keep. Does- will he- what will he buy? Obviously, he'll buy mutant parts. Which is fine, but he won't buy my gun parts. He will, for some reason, buy these empty cartridges, though. So what I'd like to do is have a quick look at the other guy. Oh, any work you want done? You want burr skin. I don't even know what that is. Oh, isn't the burr, uh, that weird gnomish goblin I saw? You've got some money, so you would buy my parts. No, you won't buy my parts. That's unfortunate. You do have a, a broken detector. Usually, like, buying off of independence is usually better than, um, buying from sellers. Oh, I'm, I'm hungry. So, you know, um, I won't lie, this has been a bit of a disappointment. Just because I thought that there was going to be an actual mission, and instead, uh, I ended up at a bar. But what is this? We're not done yet. Deliver the package. Oh, okay. Um... I'd so that's that's one dude there. We've also got the technician. We'll have a quick look at the technician, see if he will buy gun parts. If he will, then this may become my new base of operations. I will say uh, I'm not a huge fan of the setup of this place. It's difficult to get to where I need to go. It's confusing. Like, the layout is, is pretty confusing, I won't lie. So, hey, technician. Yeah. Um, what do you have to sell? You've got pretty much everything. So, by the way, these field armor toolkits are, are, are what I need to repair the um, individual parts of my, uh, my arm. So, like, that Kevlar, those Kevlar plates... Um, bottom left corner the the ones that are damaged if I want to repair some and then replace this one um, Then I'd, I'd need to get this here field armor toolkit That'll help me repair like independent uh, armor pieces and then replace them um, Will you buy my parts you will buy my parts. Okay, that 
that makes this place a great candidate. I almost sold a very good part. I've been missing missing a, a, an important piece for a while here. I almost sold it. But uh, my shotgun has been without a decent gasket. Pretty sure that is the gasket for a while. Did I, just to make sure it's still in my inventory. Yeah, it is. Oh, no, that's not a gasket. That's a handguard. Um, sell all of that stuff. All right, so nothing too exciting right now. Um, yeah, that's actually kind of a lie. I mean, this is a new base and I, it's going to be a couple of trips to get here. I'm going to need a lot of money uh, and food to make these trips. We also have a, a medic. That's actually really exciting. Yeah, this uh, bar is amazing. Outside of the very confusing layout of the place, I am actually very excited about... Um, the prospects of bar because uh it's it's got everything i need you know there's another lad in here i'm just curious about what kind of stuff he sells if any i really can't tell if i'm like leaving am i am i coming or going yeah, this, this is, uh, highly confusing. It wouldn't be like this in Stallcraft, is all I'm saying. Because it, it would look like garbage. No. No, because it would be like, uh, you know, a couple of voxels and you're done, you know. Instead, we've got a, a fully fleshed out facility and honestly, it only leads to confusing. Con to confuse me, you know? So... Okay, yeah, we do have to go this way. So we've got a, uh, med medic. Do you have side blockers? You got some p pills. These are psychic resistant, but not really what I need. I'm not really sure what side blockers even look like. You've also, you do have antibiotics. I probably should buy some antibiotics. And while we're at it, I should probably got, buy a, um, a serve as well. But I don't think I'm really there yet. You got purifying pills. Work pretty good for purifying pills. These are other antibiotics. Okay, we, let me, I kind of want to buy one of those. We got drug recipes. CMS. Ah, that's what the CMS is. So I could have bought this and then completed that quest. I wonder if we would have even gotten, like, our money back. Nah, I'm not going to buy the antibiotics. I, I do want to, at some point, make our own medicine. But now is not the time to be doing something like that. Um, I think I'm good for now. Need medical assistance. I don't really need medical assistance. Is there any work you want done? Drug making toolkit. Always with a dr drug making toolkit. Character's Lieutenant Aspirin. His name is Aspirin. Very good. So we have one more lad over here. What's your deal? You have something for trade? So he's just got... This guy's got like a... He's general purpose. And actually he does sell buckshot and slugs. I'll buy, I'll buy some slug. I can afford it. I, I really shouldn't be walking around empty handed. So that's Colonel Petrenko. But we're still looking for someone over here. Deliver a package. Oh yeah, there's someone else up here. Of course, he's not in the train, right? He's outside of the train. What a confusing layout. He's like over here somewhere. Okay, this is the guy. Uh, I've got something for you. It's from your pal, Gavril uh, Eriqua. 5,000. I don't think that that's really worth what... 
I gave him because what I gave him was some really good stuff but it's fine whatever uh, I got anything to trade he's got money I don't know what I would sell him don't don't really have anything to sell him any work you want done freedom faction patches have anything else no never mind okay goodbye so what about this lad over here there's apparently another dude over here hello what do you want okay um i'd like to know more about duty what can you tell me about them Unlike the anarchists, anarchists north of us, Duty understands the value of self-policing and all members hoping for promotions are instilled with a firm belief in discipline and internal integrity. Um, any work you want done? Scout the area around Rostock? Sure. Um, Truck Cemetery east of the way of Rostock. We could go to Truck Cemetery. I wouldn't mind checking that out. Any other work you want Bandit fat, uh, patches. I can do that. Job is done. 8,000. Nice. Any work you want done? Crackdown. You want freedom patches. Uh, nope. I'm not going to kill my friends in freedom. Freedom are fine. I guess I understand um, why freedom uh, and duty would have beef with each other. You know, based on the, um, you know, surface level um, kind of themes of duty and the surface level themes of freedom, it seems like one is about locking things down and, uh, and then the other one's like, oh yeah, but, you know, actually let's uh, keep things open. I don't know. All right, let's drink some water man trap anomaly so rostock is just like all one big facility huh like it does it, it bar is not bar is just one small part of it which makes sense but i've never seen a place that is like all facility it's it's very strange there's a couple of stashes west of here so what does this do this is to the wild territory so this is the wild territory over here, I assume. I have a couple of stashes there. And then I have a mutant there that I have to kill. This is to the army warehouses. Um, curious to me that I, there's no access. I said this last time, but curious to me that there's no access to the army warehouses from Rostock, considering there is like straight up just a road on the map. Those gunshots may not necessarily be friendly. Duty. Okay, they're fine. You guys were fighting invisible zombies and uh, creepy crawlies. Looks like they already cut them up. Oh no, there's a unknown enemy. We got to check that out. Oh, got to watch out. That moss might actually kill you. Do not know if there's good people that way. There's supposedly an unknown enemy that way. Uh, no, never mind. They seem to be dead. Oops. Good thing I have my friends here. That was a nice shot. Ooh. Doggo triggered the anomaly. Okay, so that was my mission. Really? Dogs? Was expecting something a little bit spicier. 
really, really dumb of me, um, cutting up a mutant in radiation like that. Well, I gotta say, I was uh, kind of excited for something a bit more interesting. I would keep your shooter clean or you're asking for a bad turn. So I'm not sure what the deal is north of here. This is going to lead to the army warehouses. There's no way to get to the truck cemetery from where I am. So that's a little bit disappointing. We could head back to garbage. We could just head back to Rad's bar. Hand in that quest. Can't sleep with my ass glowing. Well, that means that I'm too radiated to fast travel. Oops, almost walked into a thing. I guess what I could do is take some anti-rads. That seems highly lazy though. Well, we've seen a little bit of Rostock. I have to admit, um, I, like, I, I have to apologize, I suppose, because like, you know, I was, I was hoping for something a little bit more interesting. And, uh, Tushkano, Tushkano head. I don't know. I've never seen a Tushkano. Um, but it seems to me I'm just kind of getting acquainted with Rostock. I'm not actually doing anything particularly interesting here. But sometimes that's, uh, you gotta, you gotta dip your toes before you can jump into the pool, you know? So, um, I might call this as an early, call it early on this episode. Because from here, what we're gonna do is I want to go to, um, Chuck Cemetery. Because I haven't really explored that either. I keep looking for this guy, but he keeps being difficult to find. I got, that's gonna be one of the few times I've taken a quest to kill a mutant and then I actually ended up killing the mutant myself your rank has improved nice I uh, that's that's great they will remember me for what I did for them today I gained more trust among loners and clear sky and duty and clear sky any work you want done, kill the stalker, target mercenary. Sure. We'll take another quest to do, and I don't kill mind killing mercenaries. Any other work? Bloodsucker hearts. Have anything else? Kill the stalker. Faction bandit. Location cordon. Sure. Um, is there any other work? Bloodsucker hearts. Artifact. Nah. Okay. What about some hi hidden routes? Okay, there we go. I could buy a route from Rostock to Truck Cemetery. That sounds like a uh, worthy purchase. So we could go from uh, here to Truck Cemetery. All right, that sounds viable. Um, so uh, apparently there is a access. I just needed to buy it first. There is an option, by the way, to turn that off. You you can you can make it so you have access to all the routes. Man, this is annoying. I really wish I could, um, tell the, the guys around here to piss off. Dog liver. We'll sell some of our extra parts, just so I'm not lugging them all around. Chimera. We gotta keep the Chimera horn and claw. Because I, um, if I get a quest, then it'll be extra money. Seems to me, I guess I, I bought some slugs, and I have some meat. Which I can cook up at some point. I don't have a cooking item on me, which is a good argument for why you should keep one on you. All right, is there a place? I can't fast travel there, so we're gonna have to walk there. Actually, let me, sorry, whoops. Keep pressing the wrong buttons here. Um, oh, it's like right there. Oh, some hidden route, huh? 
I'm wondering if, um, like, I'm, I, I'm wondering if these, uh, routes are discoverable or if you have to purchase them in order to gain access to them. At least it's nice and sunny out now. It was raining pretty, pretty hard a little while ago. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's over here. Yeah, no, real hidden. Like I say, there's literally a road on the map. You'd be hard pressed to convince me that that this is a hidden route. But anyway, whatever. Eight thousand is. Uh, I mean, it was a lot to me at one point, but now it's it's feeling a lot a uh, lot more accessible. But uh, we've got a ton of quests to to accomplish in Truck Cemetery. A lot of stashes to collect on um should be should be good as long as there's not a huge military presence in truck cemetery then then we should be okay but who knows it probably is i'm sure now that i've said that there will be it's it always works that way doesn't it okay article unlocks truck cemetery Uh, that looks like clear sky to me. Oh. Zombified. So we have, uh, zombies. Yeah, indeed, they are fairly zombed. Okay, well, that's pretty good. Uh, we'll actually have to kill them because they're pretty close to the stash. There's our Eliminate Dangerous Mutants, um, very far east. I thought there was more to do here. I guess some of what I thought I had to do here was actually in the Dark Valley. I've got a ton of stuff to do in the garbage. A lot of this is hand-ins, though, I think. Oh. Spy has an SVD. Apparently, I, I agreed to an extraction. I would not have done that had I known. Um, let's make sure our gun has ammo in it. Both, both magazines. We'll kill some zombies. They are really only uh you know okay i i was not expecting that was not expecting them to be able to shoot You guys are, are doing a bang up job, literally. There is a, there is one good thing about this is, ow. Who, who's shooting at me and where are they? What the heck is that? It's a freaking black smoke from Lost. It was a moving anomaly. Creepy. The good news is that these guys are pretty easy to kill. And they have some decent stuff. The fact that they would have weaponry... Um, definitely leads one to assume that they'll actually have, um, stuff, equipment. But <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that in a game or, like, movie property. Zombies that shoot. Maybe in, uh, I can't remember if in War of the Dead they can shoot. But I think that's really funny. I, I actually really like that as a concept. 
I mean, why why shouldn't they be able to shoot, right? If you have a problem believing that zombies should be able to shoot, then let me ask you something. How are you okay with all of the other parts of the zombie concept? Like, here's a question. How do zombies know how to walk? Like, if zombies were really a thing, why wouldn't they just, like, pulsate on the ground? Just saying. The fact that they remember how to walk. Walking is no small feat, you know? There's not really a lot of natural bipod, uh, bipeds. There's a few, for sure, but, like, you know... There's a lot of evolution between quadruped and biped that needs to happen there. There's a lot of extra steps, uh, literally. So, like, the idea that we're, we're just kind of taking for granted the fact that zombies know how to, how to walk, I think is, you know, it's, it's a gimme, it must be said. You know, but, you know, suspension of disbelief definitely closes a lot of very large gaps. I'm keeping my artifact finder out. I, I keep hoping at some point I will find an artifact. I heard, I heard something. Why didn't it take that stuff as well? Okay. I don't know. I, I, I don't think I'm ever going to find... Uh, an artifact. I'm hearing all kinds of sounds and it's kind of spooking me a little bit. So there's one more thing to do. It's on the very far end. We got to kill a dangerous mutant. This, uh, it may potentially be another chimera. I probably want to take care of some of these rads. Um, radiation resistance. Or is that, that is a side block. Okay. So this is a side block. These are also side blocks, sort of, maybe not as deep, you know, useful. Uh, I guess we could just drink some vodka. I don't like to do that because it um, makes it very difficult to see what I'm doing. And I'm sure that, honestly, a few people have to stop watching after that. So I'm honestly just going to deal with the radiation that I have right now. We could just eat some chimera food. Honestly, may may provide me with a little bit of protection. Not even gonna lie. And uh, drinking a little bit of water actually helps with uh, radiation. I have to say, I you know, um, I'm very very grateful. Oh, I see. It's following the electric wires. Interesting. That is really cool. Um, I'm very grateful to, uh, you know, for having gotten into this series. I'm, I'm honestly grateful to, like, Stallcraft. As janky and as it is, and even though I didn't, like, play it to the very bitter end, I'm grateful for it to, like, you know, give me an accessible way of, of seeing the Stalker world. It's got some, it's, it's a worthy, you know, entry, I think. It's got some good stuff going on. I think that, um, eventually it, it, like every other PvP game, uh, kind of wore out its welcome for me, but, um, I'm very glad I, I got to appreciate the stalker world uh, enough to get into, into one of these mod packs. I'm really enjoying this, like... You know, there's some there's some novel concepts in the Stalker universe. It is definitely not uh, just another post-apocalypse. Okay, that is quite the landscape. I'm I'm occasionally blown away, honestly, by the look of this game. 
this like this looks really crisp you know Someone is getting angry. It'll release a psi storm soon. Uh oh, I don't know if I'm safe. I might end up. Uh oh yeah, I guess noon. Shoot, noon. There generally is a psi storm. Uh, this that thing at the end there might actually be safe. Uh, is it just me or did it like look at me? Can hide in the camp in the northeastern side. It's a good place to stay safe from emissions. Are those bad guys? Yes, they are. I can't see where they are. Oh shoot, they're right there. Come on back out. <sighs> really? Okay. It's only because I have a limited time. I, I have a, I have a, there's a time limit here. There's an emission coming and, um, I, it was not my intention to take on an entire bandit base, but I don't even think I want to still, but it's apparently there's a, there's a camp Northeast according to that comms. I'm not sure like. Oh no, how far back is this? Oh wait, that is northeast. That is the camp. Okay, we gotta do this, unfortunately. If I want to survive, we have to do that. I'm very curious about whatever that is. I would love um, to do this a little bit more stealthily, but the only thing I have a suppressor on is my pistol. It's not exactly helpful. What we could do, I could try and um, use this tower. How far away are we? We're not terrible. I could try and climb the tower and then Oh, oh no. Okay, I'm gonna have to pull out big gun. Oh, these are zombies. Um, that is unfortunate because now I'm going to spend time looting these guys and I have to, how can I not, right? I won't bother with the guns. I'll come back later if I think of it for the guns. Nice ammo. Okay, nice and nice and snappy now. What are we shooting at? I can't see anyone. This always happens. They always see me before I see them.
I'm really trying not to waste ammo here. Okay, so pretty sure no need to permission to use this place. Oh, what? Did we just gain access to our own vice? If I just gained access to my own vice, I'm I'm so happy right now. Camp at the outskirts. The only problem is I don't know. I would still rather prefer. Like, I would still rather buy my own workshop, because having your own vice is fine and all. Oh god. But I would much rather have a vice um, or a workshop close to um, a cellar. So yeah, we have a we have a vice here. It's too bad I don't have warfare turned on. I'm pretty sure I, this could like be converted into an actual base. And then it would be viable. As it is now, it's just kind of uh, an empty base. Well, this is still pretty exciting. And I feel pretty confident about how we took that down. It was like one one redo, but not, not too bad. I know someone up here died. The stash up here with nothing in it. Did they like fall off? Or no, they were all the way up at the top here. Sure hope I didn't just like I'm pretty sure there's a emission coming very soon. Oh my dude, you are you you guys are not helping me up here. They, they 100% helped me. Don't get me wrong. So, oh. It shows me as there being, um... Oh, that's interesting. It shows me as there's there being, like, a, a cellar here, but I'm pretty sure that's just a vice. There's our workshop, yeah. Cool. Um, well, I think this is a pretty good place to stop. I'm, I'm very excited. We, uh, we still have a dangerous mutant to kill is the only thing. And apparently an emission to watch out for. So, you know, like there's interesting things on the horizon. Um, but for now, do I have any fuel? Cause I could cook up some of our food. I don't think I have any fuel. I'm still trying to find all the bodies. I kind of wish they would show up on the map. One of the one one feature from Red Dead uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 is it shows you uh, bodies on the map, like un, uh, non looted ones. I know um, people have reservations about certain, some features of RDR2, and for sure there could be a couple more um, quality of life things. But I also appreciate what is done right in that game. It's funny, it almost felt like the anomaly, an anomaly appeared near me. Um, I wish there was a, like, bed here. Just making sure. Oh yeah! Wow, we got Kevlar arm, armor insert and a armor um, maintenance. Armor maintenance is good because if I ever want to upgrade my armor, 
The armor maintenance kits are also good for extracting your upgrades. So you don't have to resupply an entire suit worth of, worth of upgrades. It's a nice little feature of the game. Still looking for more bodies. I know there's more. My, my, my two friendos here are very proactive in killing and they did a great job. But also that means that there are bodies like everywhere. All right, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay here for a bit um, just to make sure like I'll do a save here and uh, You know make sure that I'm, I'm okay from an omission But uh, that'll, this is a pretty good place to stop if you are enjoying the series Definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy <laughs>